everybody, welcome back to the Sneaker Science Sock Puppet Show with your host, me, Snickers, the Science Sock Puppet. This episode, we're going to learn about developmental biology. Our focus for today is on the wind signaling pathway. Woo! Before we jump right into things, there's a few things you need to know. Each one of us is made of billions of cells. Each cell contains the exact same DNA information as the next, but each is different in their own special way. So how do we get different types of cells? Through cell signaling, of course. <laughs> Today, we're going to focus specifically on the wind signaling pathway. Woo! When wind is not bound to the frizzle receptor, the shovel remains deactivated. GSK3 in this case remains activated and prevents the dissociation of beta-catenin from the APC complex, which targets beta-catenin for degradation. <laughs> what you just saw is what happens in most cells. However, in cells destined for craniofacial development, head development, and neural tube development, among other things, have the wind pathway activated. Wow! When wind, a lipid-modified signaling protein, binds to the cytosine-rich domain of a receptor called frizzled, which is coupled to an LRP co-receptor, activates disheveled, and inhibits GSK3. This frees beta-catenin from being degraded by the APC proteasome complex and allows beta-catenin to build up in the cytoplasm. The beta-catenin then moves into the nucleus where LEF and TCF actively repress transcription. However, when beta-catenin binds to them, they become activated and allow transcription to occur. And that's it, folks. There you saw the non-activated and activated canonical wind pathway. This pathway is extremely important in a developing embryo. I hope you enjoyed learning and join us next week. <laughs>